Let's go. If you're wondering where Nick is, I went to. I kind of let him go off on his own. Oh, and I brought the TARDIS to this place. Good name. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that. Come in peace, Malarkey. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that. We come in peace, hey there. Malarkey. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. Right. Let's see what you got. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good name. That's all I'm saying. Old State House. I'm gonna have to check out like each location because I'm pretty sure there's like people inside you can talk to. <clears throat> or at least that's my opinion. Ever been to kill or be killed? Fine looking weapons. Yeah. Some stuff in here I could steal. Talk about Baldy One. Some problem there you were caught up in. Launching the sunset. Something else around here I can take. Third. Baseball glove. A new player and good neighbor. <sighs> oh my god, you got a lot of stuff here. Welcome to our fun and games. Oh. Look at all this. Oh my. Too bad about Finn. I'm gonna miss him next Super Mutant attack rolls around. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Looking for work. Work, huh? I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk. It's raider territory, yep. Oh my. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Cut the bargain and shit. Aww. You know I'm thinking you get the standard payout of... Scout out Pikmin Fine. Gallery. Cool, B. Well, who? Yeah, I'm gonna up my, uh... I think I'm gonna have to start up in my charisma. Let's see, I could do this. There we go. Sometimes you need to Hopefully now I'll have more barter on me. Keep that in mind. Now, 
I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. Can't blind ship. The heck? Sounds like savvy too. In short, how You're blocking my light, man. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town. They got another thing coming. What? Am what I you dry? Head over to the third rail. Oh, so this is the other side of that. I don't know nothing. Okay. So what happens if I go through normally then? Let's go through this normally and see. Okay. The third rail. It's in here. Memory den. Warehouse. There's a lot of stuff to explore around here. Hotel. You sticking around, you'll need to join a crew. Stay here, but let's go into the third rail, see what's down here. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of quests that I do. Hancock says newcomers are. Welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Bye. Entertainments down the stairs. What kind of entertainment? Another one of you mercs looking for McCree? He's in the back room. God, I love this song. Buddy, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. Oi, we got beer. You ain't bought. Who's the singer? That is my uh -huh. man. Not today. Shoot yourself, asshole. Hey, you're the one that's being the dick. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, oh. tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play okay. the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Can I kill them?
Excuse me. Get out of my face. Hi. Here on gunner business. So back off. These guys are dicks. Hold up. I want to hear this song. Hey, Rufus. Wait till this song is over. Uh, you can't even hear anything up here. Step through the gate, you got problems. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. They'll hook you up. Looks like oh. we got another. This is how people are living in here. Alright, let's go to the hotel. Actually going to go down and do some work. Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new. You need some jet man, home brewed, reasonable prices? Uh, not really. You have any work? Yeah, actually. You know the gunners, right? I mean, just think about it. Your offer is a little low, Fred. All right, let's make it 250. All right, Fred, we have a deal. You're the best. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specific. <laughs> Let me think about it. Make up your mind next time. I just clean up around here. Interesting. Boss Morosky don't like to be disturbed. <laughs> Look, quick. I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. Excuse me. You look a little tired there, boss. You're don't right. Don't do Stan. anything I gotta make you right. I am tired. I'm tired of this hotel. I'm tired of always being on the <sighs> I'm even tired of your loyal fucking face standing here every day reminding me I used to have good men at my side. Didn't mean to upset you. Stan. Interesting looking place. Bye. What? Whoa. No, it can't. It, 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 it's you. From Sanctuary Hills, right? Oh, Wait. shit. Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Twenty years of loyal service for you. Look at you. Uh huh. Oh. You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? Sure. The vault had these pods that froze. What? Vault Tech never told me that. Right. Well, I had to get to the future. Look at me. Are there any other ghouls? You mean crazy can't and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us. They just... I'm so sorry. You know, you're the old... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. Uh, hey, oh, you yeah. Know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay, I'll head over there right now. It's really cool that this guy, you know, is like, the same guy. Really is interesting. You're going to come. 
Yeah, but not anytime soon. Also, I've regenerated twice. I'm like, this is my like third body, so how would he even know me? He knew me by my first one. Maybe I look kind of similar to the first one, I don't know. I doubt it. Don't have no handouts. What you admiring? The clothes or the man wearing them? <laughs> Alright, let's do this, I guess. Be right back. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the Roman. I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. something or not anything else for me to take uh this one's all yours nick we need a memory dig amari but it's not going to be easy the perp kellogg is already cold on the floor are you too mad putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse you don't realize that the memory simulators require Please. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attacked? Yeah, those circuits. I'm not surprised. From... <coughs> oh, here Nick's we go. He's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If, but even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. 
Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. Uh-huh. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. <sighs> right. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. Uh -huh. You'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and... Sure. See you on the other side. I guess I'll do this. But that's gonna be in the next video. Dun, 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 ultimate cliffhanger.